A lot of people look, used to look at me in a very weird way, sometimes pathetic, sometimes they would just see that he's not going to make it ever in his life. The doctor that birthed me just told my mom that this is just hopeless. So he told her like also that you should just throw him, in, throw him in the garbage, he would never do anything. But I choose to move on. Like, yeah, the school like I went to in Amman, and most of it didn't have any elevators. So I had to go on the two floors and get get down every day. We would joke around like we were just you know, normal guys, go out to cafes, Anywhere. Anywhere we ever want. Actually, they just never make me feel different with them. Ever. <laughs> it was just like a, a gift that God gave me to the most kind of friends. For me, I would just sometimes just feel mad. I would just do any, anything. Like, I would just listen to music, it wouldn't be enough. I would talk to my friends, sometimes it also would be enough. Just taking the camera and going somewhere to take phot photographs and, and get back and edit them. That's one of my favorite things to do. It would just be like heaven for me. We can say that photography is the most thing that makes me really forget about the pressure of life. We can see like the Citadel is the just place that shows all the diversity in Jordan in a nutshell. The Roman Empire was here in Jordan. And after that came the Islamic Empire. Most of the people in Jordan are Muslims, but there is also a lot of Christians. You are living in a very, very big relational society. And the relationship in between the society is just very big. I never understood it. I don't think I'll ever understand it, but just it's amazing how the people in it in the society, love each other and just protect each other from anything. Whenever any problem in the country happens, everyone stands tall and everyone forgets their differences and they all stand for the, for the sake of their country. Like for us, like as a friends, cafes is the most important place to go to. I already have a lot of guy friends, like many throughout my life, but I also have a lot of girlfriends. Like my best friend is a girl, like I already have two best friends, but the third one, we, I can say it's a girl. Like the difference between talking to a girl and a guy, like you can just talk to a guy about anything, literally anything, and he would never get offended. Sometimes the girls, you gotta maybe think twice before you say something to them. I'm just curious how the people in this world are hopeless. I just wonder how the people in this world don't see how life is just so beautiful and how much we can find chances in it. I had a lot of things in my life that if I put just my mind into them, 100% concentration, I would just do it, no matter what. Maybe it took me a lot of time to understand that they say that you don't know how much the things value until you leave it, right?